Last March, when everything happened, we really didn't know how long it was going to be for. And so we just kind of moved everything online, thinking, you know, we'll see how this goes for a while. In the fall is really where we said, what is it going to look like? How do we make this work in a true remote environment? How do we really get good at Zoom? How do we really get good at interacting with students online? This spring, moving to hybrid learning, where students are both in the room and online, was probably the biggest challenge of all. So teachers have gone through a lot this past year. The beginning of the year when the uh, COVID mess started right after spring break, it was quite a change. I think that any teacher would find it to be just, to be honest, devastating. Having the kids here in the fall semester was great. Um, although it was only about 50 of them, um, it definitely gave us a sense that we could do this, we could do it safely, um, and our faculty were really on board with getting the kids back. The kids definitely give us energy, that's why we're here. The key to all this, and, and in any, any year, is relationships with kids. We need, we need to keep that going, we need to be excited with our kids. I said, I think we need to be understanding with our kids too, because uh, many of them, even though we think we had it tough, I'm thinking the students had it tougher. Remote learning was definitely challenging. Even though I came here the first semester, it was kind of empty. It feels like something is missing. Now that I'm back in learning, it feels like a true learning environment. I personally did find the virtual environment to be challenging because I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one student where I have to get extra help sometimes because I might not understand certain things. And I feel like virtual is like teaching from the computer. It gets exhausting, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to come back. Being able to engage the students while they are working remotely and being able to maintain the same energy that I would have during in-person learning and instruction, and that's been really something that I have um, been very proud of. I think it's kind of been a non-stop effort with both my teachers, cottage parents, and any faculty. Uh, just to kind of make sure the freshmen feel welcome. I know in the grade level meetings they've been trying to like know us more because they've never seen us in real life and we've been knowing each other, getting to know each other more online. And I know that they were staying, when we were online they were staying on conference time and I know it's pretty hard for a teacher who's been on the screen for a long time so I really appreciated that. Being in the classrooms I've really seen the struggles that technology has put against our teachers during COVID and it's just really nice to see like all the teachers pushing through with a smile on their face. I think there's still been some pretty good learning that's been going on. Um, you know, I, I applaud my colleagues for being able to persevere and, and deliver a quality education, and I also applaud students. I think we've done a remarkable job trying to keep the relationships there in order to understand their learning strengths and weaknesses. To the extent that we had to reinvent how to teach in a very short period of time, right after the pandemic took hold, I think we were superheroes in that sense because most of us had never taught online before. We had no concept of what Zoom was. And yet in the span of a week or two, we revamped our curricula, we put together new lesson plans, we learned a platform that we had never used before and we started teaching classes. And so that was a Herculean task and I think we pulled that off amazingly well. I think everybody at Church Farm is a hero, not just teachers. So that's a strong point for me. Um, from Sodexo, from our maintenance staff, from our administrative assistants, everyone uh, is a hero. If there is a superhero over empathy, if there is a superhero for humility, but also a superhero for steadfastness, for fortitude. That would be those qualities that I think have really made every teacher, staff member's effort to stay engaged and to really sort of deliver out of the heart and soul of who they are. That's really made all the difference in our community and why I salute each and every faculty and staff member. Our teachers have been so willing to be there and have really stood up for students, defended students, um, you know, as, as a superhero would, you know, to really say this kid needs this and how do we provide it and what is it going to take to do it. I could personally vouch for a lot of teachers that will fight for us and um, advocate for us to make this year um, one for the books. 
Um, and I think that that right there, the, the, the selflessness, um, them putting the students before themselves is a, a superhero character trait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.